Hello and welcome to day two of our 1.1 notes. Uh, last time we were in class, we talked about coplanar and non coplanar. Uh, we were pretty much getting into um, our last few definitions of this chapter or of this section. So, without further ado, we have coplanar and non coplanar. And we've already talked about these definitions, which makes this nice. What ha What would collinear and non-collinear mean? Well, hopefully this is obvious because co collinear is the root word would be linear. So collinear we've talked about and we said they're all on the same line. All points that lie in the same line. All points that lie on the same line. And then non-collinear is obviously, hopefully it's obvious, all points that do not lie on that same line. And here's the kicker, because in order for you to have non-collinear points, you need at least three points. And if you're wondering why, well, let's investigate. I'm going to draw it. I'm going to draw two lines here. And let's put some points on it. Let's put point H O P E. Okay. And in order for things to be Collinear, they just need to be on the same line. So, for instance, we have an example. We could say, let's put this up one line. We could say H, O, and P are all collinear versus non collinear. We could say H, O, and E, okay? And the reason why we need three points is because if you consider just using two points, for instance, H and E, you could actually make a line with two points. If you remember, our definition of a line is that it's just, you know, a connection of two points. And you can make a line with two points. So. That's why we need that third one, because if you, you clearly see, O is not on that point or on that line. Or if you're talking about H and O, E is not on that line. So you need three points to um, clearly state something is collinear or not collinear. Okay? So with that, let's talk about the intersection. In this... And when we think about intersection, we typically think about streets and roads. Um, and that's true. Intersection, we have the uh, the merging or the the meeting of two different, um, I guess, what would you say, lines. Um, in this respect, we're talking about geometric objects. And hopefully you see what I mean. So here, the intersection would be the set of points that two geometric objects have in common. Now, this could be pretty much where they overlap or 
where they meet. So, and um, the fact that we use the word geometric objects is the weird thing because if we're talking about two lines, I'm gonna say see the above diagram. See diagram above, and you can clearly see that we have two points, or we have uh, two lines in which they intersect. They have a meeting point, and um, we could say O is the intersection. Okay. Now, we say geometric objects, and the reason is because lines aren't the only geometric objects we, we talked about. We talked about points to an extent, but points don't really intersect with, intersect too much um, outside of just, you know, being on a plane and that's where it is. But we have talked about planes and this is where it gets kind of interesting because what happens when you merge one line and one plane? And this is a little bit weird to think about, but imagine if you will, you have a piece of paper or you have that surface. So here's your piece of paper. And what happens if you take that uh, a pen and you stab right through the piece of paper? Well, the pen is your line, the piece of paper is your surface or your plane. And as you imagine, the pen will go through the paper and what does it create? It creates a hole. Or in other words, it creates a point. The pen will continue to go through that paper so we're going to draw a dotted line up until the point where you can see it again. And here we have our line going through the plane. So I'm going to put P for plane. I'm going to put L for line. And I'm going to say this is Q. So when we have one line and one plane, we have um, the intersection. of plane P and L is point. And if you notice, this is a point again, Q. So just like the last example where we had two lines and they meet, they create a point, same thing actually happens here. So two lines, when they intersect, they make a point. A line and a plane when they intersect they also make a point and which brings us to our last combination what happens if we have not one plane but two planes and this is often the weird one so um, so here let's just leave it at two planes when two planes intersect imagine if you will a floor and a wall now, a floor and a ceiling wouldn't be, ultimately wouldn't be interesting because they don't intersect. We're thinking about things that intersect. And if you're thinking about a, a wall, a floor, let's start with the floor, and then a wall, right? I'm gonna make the wall so that it kind of looks, it's kind of like separating two rooms. Here's your wall. And what happens is, if you can't see this continuously, oops, I'm gonna draw some dotted lines, and then I'm gonna draw dotted lines this way so you can kind of imagine it's going through the floor. What happens is, this, when a, when a wall and a floor meet, it actually hits, a, it, makes a, it makes a corner, and Imagine, if you will, everything here, all right, at least on the right side of this wall, is the inside. And the corner is created, right? Everything on this side would be the outside. 
but when it ultimately we're just trying to imagine what happens when they intersect with each other and when two planes intersect with each other let's call this plane a and plane b let's also call this um x and y We could say the intersection of plane A and plane B, oops, and plane B is line X, Y. So when two planes meet, or when a wall meets a, a, a floor, it creates a line because you could clearly see it goes all the way across the floor. It creates that line at corner and we could clearly see that here. Okay. And that wraps up day two of 1-1. Um, we're going to do some practice problems for the day. Uh, your homework will be on on campus. And um, next time we will talk about one Everything that entails 1-2 will probably knock out all of 1-2 in one day. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Other than that, have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!